When it comes to deck boxes for your Magic the Gathering, Pokemon, and other standard size trading card games, there is a plentiful plethora of potential purchases for you to peruse. But which among them are the best to buy and use? Well, I've got good news because this video will compare and contrast the Vault X Exotech, the Citadel by Quiver Time, the Suede Alcove line from Ultra Pro, and the brand new Game Genic Watchtower and Stronghold. But with so many choices, some are better than others, sometimes by a lot. Let's take a look. Let's start with the premium Exotech. <sighs> Tech is spelled wrong. No, wait, maybe they meant exotic? Exotic, but then that's also spelled wrong. Well, the Exotech. This is a magnetic flip box that holds 100 sleeved cards, uh, almost. Holds just a little bit less than 100 cards. Hang on, let me try and push this in. Uh-oh. Looks like it's already splitting at the seams from having cards in it. The Exo Vault is extremely low quality. Shoddily glued cardboard wrapped in an unimpressive, thin textured exterior. I purchased several of these with my own money for review and all of them quickly fell apart in similar fashion. With my own money. All right, here, let's try just 50 sleeved cards and test the lid. It fails. N not just the shake test, it just fails outright. Price is $19.99 each. My own money. Let's actually begin with an actual deck box. The Citadel is Quiver Time's first foray into individual deck boxes. And, well, there's a lot to like about it, but let's start with one thing I dislike. The utterly unnecessary elastic loop. So I think I see the thought process here. Just put an elastic loop around the deck box and it's never going to pop open. And there's a certain brilliance to that, but also not, because as everybody knows, dealing with anything elastic, it is eventually, probably sooner rather than later, going to become stretched to the point that it is no longer a tight fit. And once this becomes frayed or stretched out, as I said, it's fairly irreplaceable. And if this is an integral component of the deck box, which it may not be, that then means the deck box is no longer useful. But just in a practical sense, Every single time I put this in my backpack, every tangle, single time I took it out of my backpack, this was in some way displaced, slipping off, sliding off. It was such an annoyance, and I just would say to anyone who does buy one of these, take it and put it away. You don't need it. I don't want it. It really shouldn't be there. The box unfolds to hold a little more than 100 double-sleeved cards, and while unlike the previous quote-unquote deck box, it does actually hold 100 double-sleeved cards, there's only a smidgen of extra room, which can make it a bit of a tight fit, but you can always work an unsleeved token or two in there. The Citadel has a thick polyurethane textured exterior and cloth-lined interior. Strong magnetic wraparound closure helps prove my previous point about the elastic not really being necessary, as this can take quite a lot of shaking and still keep itself closed tightly and keep your cards secure. Unfortunately, the exterior of mine had a lot of early issues with peeling and fraying around the corners and edges. What was particularly frustrating about this is that overall, I would say the structure and integrity of the box is actually quite high. It just gets scuffed up, frayed looking, especially around the edges easily, but the overall sturdiness is really good. I also like that the exterior is 100% held on by magnets, meaning that if you want, you can remove it entirely. This means there's no weak spots for the lid to become un glued, and I think that too will add to the longevity of the box. Interior is thick, sturdy, with slots for easy deck access, and an interesting frosted side window design. So I'm overall mixed on this deck box. Many pros, such as that super sturdy lid, thick and durable construction, and I really like the removable exterior wrap. The elastic is an irritant, and while overall structure is strong, the materials themselves fraying and otherwise just looking kind of run down, especially along the edges certainly isn't a plus. Price is 19 pounds, which 
which comes to just about $23.95 USD. I see potential here, but that also means it isn't all the way there yet. Great is a C+. Next up, Ultra Pro has upped their game when it comes to the alcove by just saying to heck with it and adding an actual factual latch to keep the darn thing from popping open. They got my letters. Seen here is the suede line of alcoves, which feature a full wrap lid that unfolds to reveal 100 plus double sleeved card storage and a removable tray for counters and dice. The suede like exterior has a certain class to it. And I like that unlike basic flip boxes, the lid on these unfolds completely down to the base, making for very easy access to your cards and made even easier by the generous finger hold slots on either side. One thing that is significantly less classy is the interior being lined with a wallpapering of the new Ultra Pro slogan, Up Your Game. D do you get it? Ultra Pro's initials are UP, Up your game. Do you get it? Yeah, it's plastered all over the interior of the ample flap in case you don't get it. Not a fan, but I am a fan of this slot latch designed to offer protection for your cards against the lid accidentally popping off. And combined with the magnets that line the interior of the lid means that the alcove literally snaps shut and tight. Now, obviously with any deck box that has this large of a flap slash lid, it certainly takes up a lot of space on your play space. And anytime you're using it, you're going to want to remember to always close it because otherwise, well, you don't really have much space with which to play. Let's see how well it clicks right into place. Really like it. And of course, yeah, this is, fairly secure. Obviously, with anything, if enough force hits this in the right direction, it can pop open, but I think it is highly, highly reasonable to say that it is highly, highly unlikely that the lid is going to pop off. The first iteration of alcoves, if you review that review, did have a problem with the lids popping open, so I'm really glad to see that Ultra Pro went just straight up with a latch solution. I do not find it obtrusive or even memorable. Once you have the deck box and start playing with it, you're gonna forget it's there, except of course, when you hear that lovely little click shot. The biggest con is that the overall construction appears to be less than exemplary. Now I do feel that the suede-like exterior becomes faded and dull over time, maybe even a little scuffed up, but what's really worrisome are issues such as where the base is glued to the lid and how easily that glue comes undone. Not to mention a lot of other minor imperfections in just the overall slapdash nature of how this thing is glued together. Price is $21.99 each, and when you consider that the also made by Ultra Pro, Satin Tower is about $11.99. The suede alcove is nice, but not overwhelmingly great. Great is a C plus, mostly due to that nice latch. But this isn't the only alcove product from Ultra Pro as they have also come out with what I feel is a truly innovative design with the alcove vault. Now the alcove vault is something many Magic the Gathering players have been asking a long time for. Compact double commander deck storage with the option for a lot of tokens. That's literally what this is and I am impressed. Double compartments each hold 100 plus double sleeved cards each with the single alcove design of a fully accessible interior complete with finger holds. The center unfolds to reveal a delightful little additional card holder, perfect for tokens, dice encounter, or all of the above. And actually that center compartment can hold up to 75 double sleeved cards. So whether you have two commander decks with a lot of need for tokens, or you just wanna bring along your standard or modern 60 card deck plus sideboard, the alcove vault is not so much a double deck box as potentially a trick one, all with a really compact design. And yes, it unfortunately has the up your gaming lining. Now I do have a few issues with that middle compartment, namely that the lid does not securely open or close. It just kind of flops there. Never fully closed, never fully open. I'd love to see a snapshot flap or magnetic strip perhaps, or anything that will be a little more elegant than the current flop. Also, the compartment is somewhat awkward in sliding in and out. It's a little too tight, it's a little misaligned, and I wish, again, that this just smoothly slid and clicked together. The suede version, and by the way, there are apparently other material styles coming soon, but the suede version has the same imperfections of assembly as the alcove. See all these little bumps in the gluing, little misalignments that make this an awkward sight, despite the great compactness and really brilliant design.
One of the most common requests that I get from viewers writing into me saying, do you know of a deck box that does X is, do you know of a deck box that not only holds my deck, but also holds a lot of tokens? I'm not talking a couple of tokens, I'm talking a lot of tokens. And since this is a double 100 plus sized deck box, my inclination is going to be towards Commander, and since Commander is definitely a format where a lot of decks need a lot of tokens, I really think of this middle compartment much more as being not so much for your spare standard deck, which it's really cool that it fits that, but just for a ton of tokens, or half a ton of tokens and still room left over for some dice and counters, but it works for any of those situations, all of those situations. It's really an ingenious design. It's too bad that the overall construction and quality isn't higher because the design, the concept, this thing on a blueprint, I just love it. And look at this too, when it's all folded up, it's really compact. A lot of double deck boxes that I've seen out there, they can get big. This has got a really nice slim size, you just put it in your backpack, secure magnets, fantastic in that area. Price on the Suede Alcove Vault is $36.99, and there's just so much I love about it. Grade is an optimistic B+. There's almost no comparable product to this, stay tuned for a moment, and that goes a long way. Hopefully, in another iteration or two, we can revisit and see something great turn into something excellent. Speaking of new and innovative, the newly launched Gamegenic line of deck boxes are looking to shake up the market. And as a deck box shaker myself, I must say I love what they have brought us. The convertible watchtower combines deck box, accessories drawer, and card holder in one elegant overall box, and it does so with innovative, completely removable flaps. Gamegenic watchtowers hold 100 double-sleeved cards with a removable tray for counter and dice. But I want to really focus on just how brilliant having fully removable magnetic flaps is. See, the flaps don't just come off and then go back on as the wraparound lid on the Citadel did, but rather they are cut and designed to come off and reattach to the back, allowing you to sit and play with your deck and have access to your dice without attached flaps protruding, sticking out, or otherwise getting in your way. The thought and care put into the design of these is really evident. Small handhold access is built into not only the flaps, but also the removable trays and compartments, meaning you'll never struggle to get a grip on any component. Materials are top quality and also really well assembled. There's no bumps or poor gloomanship here. The faux suede of the Ultra Pro line was far from impressive, dingy and slapdashed together as I said, but the materials used here, uh, oh goodness, they're calling it Nexofiber. Look at how they spell it. It hurts. Fiber with a Y? Alright, well, whatever the heck it really is, it looks and feels great while offering a great non-slip grip surface and cush microfiber interior. Microfiber with an I in fiber, by the way. I've reviewed a lot of deck boxes over the years, and a lot of them I've given A's to. But one thing that is a consistent issue is that even in some of the best of those deck boxes, when they unfold in order for you to access those decks, they take up a lot of play space. Even something as simple as this with a non-detachable flap, well, you've always got to close it up, right? Because you're not going... You're not going to just have this on your play space like this. You always gotta close it up. What if you need the dice, whatever. And what I love about this is that the magnets aren't a gimmick. They're a real innovation. Instead of having this flap, which by the way, becomes susceptible to wear and tear over the years, because yes, it is just glue and thread put together. You just take the magnets off and then reattach the flap on the back. Now we don't know how magnets work, we just know that they work. And for those who were impressed with the alcove double, get ready for the game Genic Stronghold. Two removable card holders for your two commander decks holding slightly over 200 double sleeved cards, yet this double deck box has an elegant and compact overall design. The Stronghold also has the same fantastic, completely removable and wrappable flaps. Powerful magnets ensure safe closure, and once again, the Stronghold features the very nice to look at, very nice to feel, but not very nicely spelled Nyxofiber material. The 
tray here may not hold 75 double-sleeved cards, but it is sized for holding cards and for holding sleeved cards. So altogether, you can put up to 40 single-sleeved cards in here. Great for players who have huge need for tokens. Yeah, I sleeve my tokens. You don't? Well, that's just reckless behavior on your part. Double-sleeved commander deck dragon shields here. Double-sleeved commander deck dragon shields here. Magnetic flap A. Magnetic flap B. Ooh, that's heavy. I've also got the dice and tokens in there. That is heavy. All right. Oh, all right. Look at that. Okay, let's get it. Let's get it. Hang on. Come on. Ugh. Remember that the point of the shake test is not to have a box that never pops open, but just determine if it is likely or unlikely. And this will pop open. It will, it will pop open. I swear I got it to once. I do think that it is fair to say that it is highly, highly unlikely that this will open up on you unexpectedly, which is good protection for your decks. Pros are numerous. Fully removable flaps that attach to the back make for honest to goodness, more effective gameplay space, as well as adding to the longevity of the product. Mixing and matching colors is fun, and the non-slip grip of the tough exterior pairs perfectly with fine microfiber interior lining. Grooves for finger holds on everything from the flaps to the compartments, and a token-sized tray for the watchtower. Expertly designed with grooves for finger holds on everything from the flaps to the compartments, and of course, that token-sized tray for the watchtower. Overall, I could not in my testing really find a single con. Grade here is a solid, enthusiastic A, and this is perhaps my new favorite premium deck box. It's certainly one of the very top on the market today. Oh, Ben! <clears throat> I hope very much this video has been of some help to you. Remember, even though right now, we are in a global crisis. Many local game stores are still doing business through deliveries, through curbside pickups, through other means. So check on social media with your local game store and see if they are offering delivery or pickup options that can be done safely so that you can get the products you need that meet your needs. If this video has been helpful to you, you can help me out by remembering to like, share, subscribe, and please, 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 by sharing with a friend. And they came off. Card, cards are still in, but... Completely honest with you here, m one of my deep fears as a lover of the local game store is that this pandemic might just be a, a point where in a lot of the, the meetings, the answer is, well, let's just put all of our attention, all of our effort uh, post-pandemic into digital, like that this, this is digital all in or nothing. You're saying that the local game stores are still a big, important part of this equation and a part of recovery efforts? Oh, absolutely. I mean, let me say this. I know there's this fear out there that somehow we're just gonna make Magic a digital game and just get rid of tabletop, like, like, I, I think there's this fear that we're gonna like phase out tabletop over time or something. Yes, huge fear. And what I, I mean, what, so number one, Tabletop is an organic main way of magic. It, it currently right now, I mean, not during the pandemic, but normally we make more money off tabletop magic than anything else. 